who feels like they are knocking their New Year's resolutions out of the park. I sure don't. I am still getting over my week long cold, but I have had a lot of motivation, especially by Katie. She's doing so awesome with her cleaning and her waking up at 5.30 a.m. and her goals. I'm just like, you inspire me so much, but I am pretty sure I'm gonna buy a juicer. I'm gonna start the celery juicing. So yesterday I went to a consultation for something and I think it hit me why I don't love when people comment on weight. And I've never really loved when like I'm around like a group or something and someone's like, oh, how would it be? You're skinnier. I've never really loved that because you wouldn't say it if I was fat. So why are you saying it if someone's like extra skinny, you know? I've never really loved that. Right now I feel really happy. I, I stopped nursing roughly a month ago. I'm officially five pounds heavier than I've ever been not being pregnant ever. So I feel really like proud of myself. I feel like being on my thyroid medication and some iron supplements, like I'm starting to feel really good. But yesterday I was at a doctor consultation and he had talked about my weight and I, I said, right now I'm, I'm 105, I feel really good. And there was a nurse that was sitting and taking notes and she's like, oh, how would it be? And it hit me, it's because it makes me feel like a child. I was sitting there, vulnerable in front of a doctor, awkward in front of a, a nurse, already feeling kind of vulnerable and feeling like 100% confident. And then when people make remarks like that, I felt like my dad was getting mad at me. It makes me feel like people are treating me like I'm 12 when I'm almost 30. And I just wanted to share that. I was gonna make like an Instagram post and I thought, no, I'm gonna vlog about it. But I'm feeling confident, I'm gonna go get a juicer, I'm gonna start getting my health better, I'm gonna feel good, this is my year to be good mentally, physically, emotionally, everything, so. Tommy, you're in your jammies, you ready to party? Yeah, yeah? let's go, let's go. I know Ellie just got very serious with you guys, but it's my turn to get very serious with you and you too, Tommy. I have to get very serious with you. For the past six or so months, we've had Tommy in our life and he's been a huge blessing to us. He's been our little boy, but technically speaking, he's not ours. And I know that's so weird to say this. Tommy's not ours. Third child problem. Or at least not yet. And hopefully today we can fix that. We can make Tommy our officially boy today, yes. officially. Hey boys. Did you have a good day at school today? Yeah. Good, okay, I'm so glad to hear that. Now, I have a more important question for you. Do you boys love your brother Tommy? Yeah. Do you love him so much? Yeah. Should we keep him? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we should keep him in our family? Okay, I wanted to tell you that he's not really technically an official part of our family yet. Well, that's why we're here. That's why we're here. We're gonna make Tommy an official member of our family. Third child problem. This is a third child problem. We have forgotten to get Tommy's birth certificate. There's no certificate that's saying that Tommy is born. There's no certificate that says Tommy's a part of our family until today. Third child problem. Third child problem. It only took us six months, but we're gonna do it today. Jackson, we're getting his birth like, certificate. He was like a week old and it was in our hands. Oh, I, like, if that. Same thing with Calvin. It was like as soon as we, you know, could, we did it. But, well, Tommy, you're, you're the third child. <laughs> Wasn't that a big priority for us, I guess? All right, it's officially official. Well, there's still one last thing. Boys, what do you think? Should we keep Tommy or should we give him to the state? No, that <laughs> would be him? sad. Yes! Okay, it's official. We've got the paperwork. We're gonna keep him. He's ours. I'm. I know. I'm. I've got six months to decide. I'm sorry, Tommy. Mommy's so mean. But guess what? I officially have you, and I will put the paper safely away. Okay. Okay. I love you. You're tired. Last thing on our list. I like to do this for the kids' birthdays because it kind of like passes the time and it's fun for them. Since your birthday is tomorrow, should you go pick out your wrapping paper for your present? Would that be fun to do? Pick cake. Pick cake? Yes, usually we pick cake, but because tomorrow we're going up by grandma's house, I ordered the cake and I'm gonna have her pick it up. So we're gonna go pick out your wrapping paper. Um, can I have a bow on top? Yeah. Look, there's Lightning McQueen and Goofy, and ooh, I see some really cool ones. This one has the Spidey Man. <laughs> you want that one? Yeah. Look. This one has all of them. 
not Spider-Man. Oh, no? Do you want this one? Yeah. Okay. I want the one next to that purple. Yes. I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Okay, so we dropped off the kids. We had enough time with the kids, you know. It's like, okay, Tommy, are you actually part of our family or not? Like, what's the deal? Now you are. Get out of our faces. Oh we gosh. were over here at Bonnie and Joel's house. And can we give a sneak peek? Yeah, make your toys. Okay. Look how cool and heavy and nice this dress. Like, our guy was like, you guys pick the most expensive fabric. We're like, yeah, because we like it heavy and thick and not see-through and wonderful. It's not going to be black. And it isn't heavy, it's just like nice. You know oh, what I mean? Like it's yeah. just perfect. So what we're doing right now is we're going over some spring line stuff. These are the samples for the spring line stuff that's coming out very, so very soon. So there's a couple things I wanted to say. First and foremost, the acrylic case is back in stock, but it's going very quickly, so be sure to check out bollybrand.com. Also, for the whole month of January, if you buy the leggings, you get the sports bot for free. So go check out bollybrand.com. And for all of these things that were coming out here in the spring, it's gonna be amazing. Go to bollybrand.com. <laughs> I'm super <laughs> proud of it. Okay, we're gonna try them on. Okay, try them on. What Joel and I are doing in the meantime is Joel is playing Zelda on the Super Nintendo and I am watching him. So this is like, excuse me, I'm trying to finish this. Stop ex exasperating everything. Oh. So this is like historic Twitch. I'm not watching you stream. I'm watching you in real life. This is like Twitch 20 years ago. This is Twitch 20 years ago. So Joel's trying to find the to get to the boss and we're gonna He's gonna kill the boss and I'm gonna throw some emotes and I'm gonna donate some bits Yeah, yeah, so make sure you follow Joel at his house <laughs> We're checking the scaling of the sizes and any adjustments that we need the design of this dress is so perfect. The well, color and pattern is gonna be stinky. Yeah, when you guys see that. When you girls walked out, I my heart kind of like skipped a beat a little bit. It was like really, yeah, it looks really good on you guys. I can't wait till the pattern's on the dress, you know? Whose makeup is this? Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie! Those are samples! You can't ship that out! What are you guys laughing at over here? We're looking at all the pictures of Jackson. Funny ones. This is a baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're riding your bike in your underpants. What are you doing? Is that silly? That is silly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dad's nose. <laughs> I couldn't do it myself, so I had him do it for me. What's the big deal? Yep, that's it, Jax. That's all of you. Are you excited for your birthday tomorrow? Uh, oh, yes. High five. Did you get some presents for me? I don't know. Maybe I did. Maybe. <laughs> You're saying dad right there. Oh, what a good kiss. As soon as that flashback starts, I lose it every time. <laughs> well, those videos took you hours to make. Yeah. Our birthday videos. Yeah, they, they're a lot of fun. And we're sitting here and Jackson is getting his hair cut and he's like, I want to see my first birthday because Tommy's is coming up and Jackson's birthday's tomorrow, but Tommy's first birthday, they were talking about that. We were talking about the smash cake and all of that. And it just, he's like, let's watch it. And I was like, okay, this is great. Oh my gosh, what a flood of memories. Can you believe that? We did that four years ago and started doing this over five years ago. Oh, what a journey. It's pretty cool to be able to say that. No regrets. No regrets. Absolutely. Guys, you dad, you're the biggest guy. <laughs> I am the biggest guy, huh? Oh, pop goes the weasel. <laughs> what do you think about when you were so little? I loved the cake. You loved the cake? <laughs> Cake in my um, nope, it's long gone. But you know what we still have? We still have your Spider-Man present. Happy birthday to you! When when I got you your very first Spider-Man present. This is a gift from Dad. This one right here. It was kind of cheesy, but I meant it at the same time. Okay. Oh, look! You still have that, Jackson. Spider-Man, Jackson. Do you like that? Now cue my Morgan Freeman voice. 
Jack said, you got Spider-Man because there is a hero in all of us. Anyone can wear the mask. <laughs> That's from the Spider-Man movie, huh? Okay. Anyone can wear the mask. You can be a hero. Stand up. Do you know that? And you can be a hero. Oh, this video. Uh, it gets me. Do you want to know something that pissed me off so much? What? I'm supposed to be talking right now, but there was something wrong with the render and it didn't work. And I couldn't wait any longer to post the video. Which we should have just waited. We should have just waited. You were a miracle. And you still are to this day. You are. Fun. I haven't watched it. Making me cry is fun. <laughs> Why were you crying? Because I just love my babies. Oh, Calvin. That's when we found out you were a boy. <laughs> I love you, boys. You know that? So much. This is making me cry. Right now. <laughs> it is, isn't well, it? It actually is. <laughs> You are the sweetest. I have this little outfit later. There's not a dry eye in the house. Oh my gosh. He could feel the little spirit. He could. Yeah. Look, there's Calvin right there sleeping. So Jackson is, <laughs> yes, yeah, he's gonna show us. Look, the there's cake. a cake too, just Jake like yours, Jackson. Birthday. Do you remember when you ate that? Look all the way down and then you can finish. I got the kids in bed. While I was doing that, oh. Ellie had a little. We got the. Okay, you got Tommy to bed. I got Jackson and Callan. It's the same thing as a team. We work as a team. It's teamwork. We're marriage, and that's how we communicate, and that's how we work. You get the idea. While I was putting Jackson and Calvin to bed, Ellie got this all set up. This is for breakfast in the morning. Just a little sneak peek at Jackson's birthday. Now, when I put Jackson down to bed, I said, when you wake up tomorrow, you're gonna be five years old. One whole hand. So I said, you're gonna be a big boy now. You're gonna be stronger and smarter, all of that stuff, and he was so excited. So, mm -hmm. if you are excited for Jackson's birthday tomorrow, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss Jackson's birthday tomorrow. Hit that red subscribe button. It just lets you know whenever we make a video. And hit that bell notification so you know exactly when those videos go live. So from us to you, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.